It's what's being described here is the path of the, of the elect. So if you decide to get on this path, prepare that soul for temptation. <laughs> if you choose to walk in the shoes of the elect, prepare to go through storms. That means get your foundation ready. <laughs> Cause we gonna have some shaking. Some shaking is about to happen. Read. Cleave unto him and depart not away, mm -hmm. that thou mayest be increased at thy end. That you might the last end. That you might be increased at thy last end. It says, set thy heart aright. What does set thy heart aright mean? It says, prepare your mind. <laughs> it says, set thy heart. Get no going in what you're going to endure. So set, get your mind right for this situation. He says, get your mind right and constantly endure. No matter what comes at you, stay the course. No matter what seeks to bring you off your path, stay the course. Read. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Mm -hmm. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Be patient when you're changed to a lower state. See, what he's talking about here is it, not, not only the path that you will take, but how to complete the journey. It says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure. Make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave. Depart not away. <laughs> These are all things that are saying, don't walk away. Don't allow yourself to be destroyed. He, what he said, what he, what, what essentially was being shown here is that you are going to be beat, battered, and bruised to in, in, in ways that you've never experienced before in your life. This, you will experience some of the worst of the worst that you've ever that, that you've ever had to experience in your life in this truth. A lot of people think that the words, the words here are dramatic. You think it's dramatic until you've had to deal with it. You think it's dramatic until you've had to enact faith. Uh -huh. Until you've had to actually experience and practice faith. Making your election sure is preparing yourself for the storm that's to come and the one that's already here. This says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. Mm -hmm. Take cheerfully. That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> what am I going to be enduring that I need to take cheerfully? So you're telling me that I'm to prepare my soul for temptation, to set my heart aright, constantly endure, make not hasten time of trouble, cleave, depart not away, don't run away so that I can be increased at my last end. And, and, and you want me to, to take all of these things that are going to shape me so so much that it'll have me considering walking away, but you want me to take it with a smile? See, a lot of people wonder why I smile when I, tell, when I talk about these lessons. I've, a lot of these things we've endured, yet we smile. Why? Because we know that chastisement is only for the most high's chosen. <laughs> I smile because this is the most high telling me that I'm one of his. I smile. Because the enemy showing me that I'm against him, that I'm his enemy. That's why I smile. <laughs> A lot of people wonder why I smile when we talked when we talked about when we talked about the trials and the tribulations of the children of Israel mm -hmm. in our lessons. I smile because it's proof that we are who we say we are. Tough. <laughs> That's why I smile. It says, whatsoever is brought upon thee, take it cheerfully. I smile because I have perspective. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not looking at the trials and tribulations that I endure as a curse. I look at it as a badge. I take it as a badge of honor. Mm 